The Generals finished the season 9-1. and one. Most consider that pretty successful, but they are not done yet. They have a state championship in sight. We have a lot to talk about and little time to do it in. This is Generally Speaking. Welcome to Lafayette Football, brought to you by Mingy Beef Jerky, SDG Blue, Dave Redden Photography, and Fayette County Schoolsports.com. Welcome to some great new sponsors, Everybody's Auto Sales, and NR Incorporated. Thanks for watching, Generally Speaking. Welcome in to our last episode of Generally Speaking. Of course, starting off as always with Coach Shaw. Coach, it's been a minute. Yes, it is. It's has. been a few weeks since we've talked with you. Yes, it um, is. So we're going to start all the way back. We actually haven't um, even addressed the Madison Central game, um, oh. which would have been three weeks ago now. Um, so if we can remember back this far, um, talk to us about the Madison Central game, um, what you remember from that, what you liked, what you didn't like. Well, I, Madison Central came out and, and played hard. Uh, they had been on a roll and uh, they came out and played well in the first half. And I think it caught us off guard a little bit. Uh, but we regrouped and matched that intensity and it came out with a W. Now they played you pretty good for about, what, three quarters? Roughly there. And then, you then we decide to go play. Um, now, in between the Madison Central and your next game to Tage Creek, um, a couple of days after that game is is when the passing of Trinity Gate was. Um, we we canceled that week. Um, you made the call on that, and of course we were we were okay with that. Now, how did how did you know that series of events? I'm sure some of your players were close with her. Newer, you might have even you know newer. How did that kind of affect leading up? To that week and, and playing against Tate's Creek. Well, any time a, a child life is taken that way, it's it's, it's a big deal. Uh, it impacted the whole school and, and it impacted my program. Uh, a lot of a lot of my sons on the team were very close friends with her. And to have something like that happen is it's just it's a tragedy. Uh, but also, I think it woke them up uh, to understand and make sure they're paying attention to detail. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Very sad, sad week. Uh, there's still a memorial out there for it. You know, every day it gets a little better, but they, there's, you can still see the effects around the building. Um, so leading into the Tage Creek game, um, did they come out ready to play? Um, what, you know, what was your take on that game? Well, we came out and jumped on them quick, and then we kind of, uh, you know, let off the gas a little bit. Uh, Tage Creek is a phenomenal football team with a lot of talent. Uh, they made some adjustments and attacked us. And, uh, we had to adjust to that and, and come out and play. So you had your bye week last week, um, which technically ended the regular season Correct. with an off week. Um, <laughs> finished nine and one. Correct. Uh, are you happy with that? I, I'm, I'm glad we finished the season pretty much healthy. You know, the only one that we lost for the year was was Alex, and that's a, that's a big piece to what we do. Uh, uh, but my young son stepped in and, and took his place, and uh, so to come out of that and go into the bye week, you know, pretty much health is is a plus. Absolutely. Um, what did you work on? Um, did you go kind of light for the bye week, or are you already kind of focused in on, on playoffs? What are what are you focusing in on? With this well, team? we we went three days, uh, helmets. It was those three days were more fundamental days. Uh, just kind of breathe a little bit mm -hmm. and not really prepare for anything in particular. Uh, we just worked on fundamentals. Now it seems like it was just a week ago when we were just two or three games in the season and we were talking about the end of the year and where you wanted to be. Mm -hmm. Are you where you want to be? We're close. Um, you know, trying to reach that end of the year goal, I, I really want to see us reach that, you know, in the playoffs. I want us to peak at 
you know, during that time because this part of the season is what counts. So uh, we have responded pretty well to, you know, what we had to face all year. Uh, they've learned a lot. So I'm, I'm excited about the playoffs. So do you know what's next uh, as far as the next game? What's the next step for you all? Well, we play Butler Friday and uh, uh, Louisville Butler. So uh, we got film yesterday and we're breaking that down now and, and preparing for that and uh, getting ready to go. What do you know about Butler? They're out of Louisville. <laughs> Any team out of Louisville, we got to note that. <laughs> well, I know they're going to have some athletes. I watched a little bit of it already and they're going to have some athletes. They're going to be, they're going to be big and uh, they're going to come in and play physical. You know, any team you play in the playoffs, you know, what they did during the regular season really doesn't matter. Uh, there's supposed to be a switch that comes on when you get in the playoffs. So uh, that's what I expect. And I've talked to my sons about that, that level of intensity in the playoffs, being able to match it. Now, have you played Butler, you know? We, have, we haven't seen Butler. Okay. In like the last couple years, or any, you haven't seen Butler. I don't think we've seen Butler since I've been here. Oh wow. Okay. All right. Um, Now talk to me a little bit, though. Um, You know, at this point, obviously, you know, as we just mentioned, Butler is next. Do you just take it one game at a time, or are you already trying to like look at this and be like, okay, who's going to come out of this? Or or kind of talk about what are some possibilities? Um, Since this is our last show, um, what could be your next steps after Butler? We need to make sure we take care of Butler first. Absolutely. Uh, the scenarios, yes, I, I look ahead, uh, trying to have an idea of what we go, what's going on. Uh, the second round can be the winner out of Takes Creek and Madison Central. Two teams I've, you've already seen. Two teams we've already played. Uh, uh, and I'm not sh- really sure about that third. But we've got a chance. I, 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 let me change that. We can play the winner out of the Takes Creek game or whoever they play. They play Boone. So the second round can be Taste Creek and Boone. Uh, third round can be Madison Central and whoever they play on that other side. Do you think it's harder, especially um, when you've already played a team in the season, you know, possibility of a Taste Creek matchup? Mm-hmm. You played them just a couple weeks ago. Is it harder that second time around? Is it harder to beat a team twice or even when there's even more on the line, playoffs? I, I, I believe that. I, it's very hard and very difficult to beat a team. You know, in the NFL schedule, you play teams twice. Uh, it's very hard to do that, uh, especially in a playoff setting. So uh, we're going to take it one week at a time and, and you know, try to get this first one, and then we'll worry about what comes next. And the one thing that that I'll have you, you talk about and, and kind of explain this too is in comparison of last year where you all were on the road, mm-hmm. um, you actually have the home field advantage. Um, <clears throat> basically through it, you know, if you all win your semifinal game, you will then go to Bowling Green, but all the way up through that, you will be here? Correct. Last year, the first round of the playoffs, we played the first two here, and then we went to Scott County, and then we had to go to Simon Kitten. This year, because of even odd, we're the uh, even seed this year, so we have a chance to play all the way up until the state finals here at Lafayette. Does that help, and do you think that's a better, you know, especially for your kids that are returning, um, your seniors who, you know, took part in that last year, you know, the fact that they can not have to be on the road and be at home, do you think that's a, a factor in your advantage? Oh, I, I, I believe so. You always want to play at home during the playoffs. Uh, you don't have to deal with the travel piece. And you're at home. It's always comfortable at home. So uh, perhaps we can use that to our advantage and, you know, play up, play up until December. Um, what is, um, I guess, my last question for you, period, the end until – Next time, um, what is, is there anything special about this group? I guess, you know, as you go through and, you know, you've been a part of this program for years now, um, see a lot of different teams. Is there anything in particular about this group that, that kind of makes them different or one thing, you know, you're, you're proud of or that stands out? I mean, this, this group is very special. Uh, across the board, there's a lot of talent uh, with this senior group and uh, with the overall group as a whole. Um, they're really fun to be around. Uh, they work their butts off. They're really fun and pleasant to be around. Uh, after school, when the bell rings, they come all in my office, and my <laughs> office is not very big. So it's just they want to be great, whatever that is. And 
it's just been a pleasure to be around him. Makes him fun to coach too. Oh, absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Well, it's been a pleasure talking with you week Thank in and week you. out. Good Thank luck you. the rest of the playoffs. Yes, ma'am. All right. We'll be right back. You're watching Generally Speaking. Brought to you by Mingy Beef Jerky, SDG Blue, Dave Redden Photography, and Fayette County SchoolSports.com. Welcome to some great new sponsors Everybody's Auto Sales and NR Incorporated. Let's get to know another one of your general seniors a little bit better. Here with us is Dejon Thomas. Dejon, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit um, about your position, your role on the football team. Well, my position is left guard. I try to facilitate the O-line and make sure my quarterback doesn't get hurt back there in the pocket. Try to give him a little bit of time. And I'm sure he appreciates that. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Um, what's been um, your your favorite uh, football memory so far? Favorite football memory, junior year, Scott County, junior in the playoffs. Year. Why? Well, we, I think we overcame a lot that game. We were down a couple touchdowns early, and we had to fight through it and as a team, as brothers. So we all came through it and got to state that year. What do you think um, has kind of led to your success this season so far? Focus and being a leader, trying to be – like over everybody, be a good brother, and just focus on my game and try to learn everybody and see how they work. What about your success just over your football career? I mean, Coach Shaw's done a great job building this program, as, as we, we talk about often. Um, what do you think's been kind of made that happen? A lot of studying, just studying the offense, trying to get to where I know it like the back of my hand. It takes a lot. Um, what do you think, um, I guess, as your football career, um, in high school at least, um, slowly winds down? I mean, what are your, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, it's crazy that I feel like I just blinked and missed my whole four years. Mm -hmm. Just having fun playing football with my brothers and just doing what I love to do. What are your plans after high school? College, hopefully, I don't have to put the pads up. <laughs> uh, hopefully, I play at a big college and get somewhere. Do you think it's it's a little bit different for you knowing that you have the potential to play on the next level? That at least you get to continue. You think it's harder on the guys that say, "Okay, yeah, this is you know when whenever, hopefully playoffs, but and hopefully it's a state final." But it's you know it's the guys saying that I'm putting this jersey on for the last time. I think it I think it's harder on me seeing my brothers that might not play football again ever again because now it's more pressure that we have to win a state. We have to win a state ch championship title. Mm -hmm. We have to get something for them just so they can have some money to build. It's kind of sad. Do you think a state championship is definitely something that, you know, obviously again, end of the season, um, is that something that you think you all are ready for? Is your team where you want them to be at? Honestly, that run. honestly, we need to focus more. Mm -hmm. I think we go into some weeks just kind of lollygagging and lulling ourselves and not focusing on the right stuff, and we just think that we'll go in there and win. And that's not the case in these last couple of games. We've got a couple tough opponents, and hopefully we can make it. What do you think needs to be done, um, or what can be done to really you know, get you all focused in, or do you think it will come natural because – once you get into playoffs, it's win or go home. I think it's all of us have to play as one. 11 equals one is our saying that Coach Matthews always puts in our scouting reports. So if we work all together and play as one, then we'll probably we'll make it. Outside of football, um, what's your favorite class? Favorite class. Right now I have men's conditioning, and it's keeping me in shape for football and just have fun. Yeah, something a little bit, you know, less stressful, having to worry, yeah. not have to hit the books as hard. It's hard. <laughs> what is your most difficult class or what's your least favorite subject? Pottery. Pottery? I hate it. <laughs> I didn't even know, which I went to a little bitty school, but I didn't even know pottery was a class. Yeah, it's a class and it gives your hands dirty. I don't really like my hands getting dirty, even though I play football. <laughs> and you don't like pottery? Didn't expect that to come out of your mouth. That's awesome. <laughs> 
Um, so, you know, you, you said that obviously you want to go to, to college, uh, goal there is to play football. Yes, um, Ten years from now, though, once you're finished with college, where do you see yourself? What are your plans? See myself being a good husband, father, trying to be a good role model in the society, just doing what I do best. Hopefully, hopefully I'm in the NFL. If I'm not somewhere, I would like to study fire science, so hopefully I become a firefighter. If you could, you know, if you had your pick of an NFL team to be a part of, who would you want to play for? Uh, probably maybe the Seahawks. Seahawks, we'll go out to Seattle. You like, like the rain? weather. Like the weather. <laughs> it's not really hot. Really hot. It's, it's a lot of rain, though. And even even if all of that, um, which we hope, you know, we, we do see another general football player and, and you know, continue, have continued success and, and make it to the NFL. Um, once it's all said and done, do you hope to relocate back to Lexington or the, this area? Wherever my mom goes, she she's likes to travel. So wherever she goes, I'll go. I'll come back and I might stay wherever for a little while. <laughs> but yeah, I love my mom. So wherever she goes, I'll relocate with her. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to buy her a house. That's very sweet. Well, we hope that all of that comes true, and thank you so much for talking with me. Yes, ma'am. And wish you luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. We'll be back with your Blast from the Past. You're watching Generally Speaking, brought to you by Mingy Beef Jerky, SDG Blue, Dave Redden Photography, and Fayette County SchoolSports.com. Welcome to some great new sponsors, Everybody's Auto Sales. In our Incorporated. You're watching Generally Speaking. Brought to you by Mingy Beef Jerky, SDG Blue, Dave Redden Photography, and Fayette County SchoolSports.com. Welcome to some great new sponsors. Everybody's Auto Sales. And In our Incorporated. Back inside, generally speaking, with our very last blast from the past. This is Theo Hersey, and well, I won't put the other guys down and say we saved the best for last, but you do have a lot to talk about. You have some bragging rights from when you played, right? That's right. That's okay, right. Okay, exactly. so talk to us a little bit about when you played here and kind of your all's like accomplishments. Tell us about the position you play. Just fill us in. Okay. Uh, well, I played for Lafayette from '85 to '88, and uh, in my sophomore uh, season, we actually went to the state championship game and played against uh, Louisville Trinity. Uh, we, we didn't win. Uh, we lost 28 to seven, um, but it was a, a great season. Um, we only lost two games. Uh, we won the city and um, I had a great coach. Uh, it was uh, Coach Tom Fee and uh, uh, a lot of great assistant coaches. Uh, I played wing back, uh, kickoff return, cornerback uh, on defense, and uh, wing back on offense. Goodness, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you were very busy. Yes. Um, and you kind of had some some different things that were showing. You had your uh, your state rank. Yes. Yes. In, in with you. Yes. Um, now, what is you know is that when you all went your sophomore year is that your favorite memory or kind of what would you say um, is your favorite memory or memories that you made being part of the football team? Definitely by far my my favorite memory as a sophomore being able to play with a, a lot of great players um, and to make it all the way to the state my. My first uh, year was, was definitely uh, one of my greatest memories. Uh, I work with uh, young people, uh, students in uh, Fayette County Schools right now, and I always tell them, if I could go back to high school again, I would definitely go back specifically for football. Yeah. Um, the program was great. Uh, had a lot of great coaches. Uh, Tom Fee, um, Coach Brewer, also had um, Steve Chandler, um, and uh, um, it was just a great time. What were some big names either on your all's team or around Lexington at the time just to kind of like put in perspective of, of your all's competition or who you all had? Uh, well, on our team we had uh, Mark Lunsford, uh, we had Matthew Gay, Chris Porter, Jerome Brown. Um, at that time those guys uh, were the state uh, champions in relay and 100 meters uh, in track. Very quick guys. So we had the whole track team on the football team as well. Um, and. Uh, there was a lot of competition with um, Brian Station and definitely Tate Creek, uh, a lot of ci uh, city rivalries. What do you think um, 
is the most Im important thing maybe football taught you about life or what did you really take take from from that that you can look back now and say I'm so glad that yeah. I played football uh, I'd say teamwork um, you know working hard the coaches instilled in us uh, to work hard to reach a common goal um, just uh, togetherness as a family I can remember the bus rides to the games and uh, Matthew Gay uh, who is uh, uh, related to Marvin Gaye, uh, he would sing on the bus on the way to our long uh, road trips. Um, you know, we had a, a clap and a chant that they would, we would do before the game. Um, and I always thought if I was on the other team, I would be so intimidated by just the chant. And, you know, we were really good too. So mm -hmm. uh, teams were in awe even before kickoff. Right. Uh, do you remember it? You don't have to necessarily like act it out if you don't want to, but what was the chant? <laughs> Uh, I don't remember it, don't remember unfortunately, no. <laughs> but, but apparently you didn't want to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what did you do after high school? Um, after high school, I went on to uh, Eastern Kentucky University, and I, I toyed around with walking on to play football there. Uh, that all didn't work out, so I uh, went a couple of years at EKU and then transferred back home and finished up at UK. And I have my uh, master's in social work right now, so I'm um, a licensed social worker in the state of Kentucky, and mostly work with at-risk at youth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, do you, I mean, I, obviously, you you sound like you enjoy doing that as oh, well. Oh, oh, absolutely. Yeah, I consider myself, even after all these years, still just a big kid. And uh, if I thought I could go out on Friday night and play, by God, I'd still go out and play. <laughs> <laughs> do you still get the chance? I mean. To, to follow the team, do you get to come out to games? And, and you know, they've really been, of course, like you all were successful when you played as well, yeah. but, but having some, some big caliber names definitely come out of this program in the last few years. Yeah, um, I try to get out every now and then. I think this year I went out to the Trinity game. Uh, that's a, a special game in my heart. So mm -hmm. I, was, I was pretty hopeful when I came out for that game. Uh, I came out and a few years back and talked with the team. Uh, Coach Shaw allowed me to come out uh, and share you know, some of my memories and, and kind of show them my ring and kind of pump the team up before they started their season. Um, but I try to keep up with them. Uh, I've really been enjoying um, the ride and the rise of Lafayette over the last, you know, five years or more. Uh, it gives me a lot of pride. And so I just enjoy the fact that they are, you know, at the top uh, echelon as far as football goes, especially in the city. Right. Uh, we're, the, we're the team to beat right now, so it makes me feel pretty good. How do you think the program has, has changed? Obviously, I guess we hear a lot from, from our Blast from the Past guys, oh, the weight room or oh, the field. Um, but what else do you think has been the key to just being solid, you know, year in and year out and being so successful? I say the uniforms. <laughs> we heard I that though, too. I absolutely yeah. am so jealous of the, the, the emblem on the side of the helmet, the different uniforms that they have, and the field. I mean, come on. When they, when they turned the field around and, and redid that, I came out and saw it and I was just like, wow, you know, turf and, you know, the field is just wonderful. Um, but the facilities and um, just the things that the kids are able to have access to today, you know, they got the, the gloves, you can catch anything nowadays. And, you know, it, it's, it's good, you know, um, to see them evolve and have more access to improve the program, obviously. So here we are ready for playoffs. Yeah. Regular season is over. How, how do you feel as, as an alum? What are you thinking? I feel pretty good. I, I think, you know, after their experience last year, being right there on the cusp of, of winning it all, uh, I, I like our chances. Um, if you could go back, now you said you've talked to the guys before, but if you could go back and talk to this year's team, um, what would you say to them, one, about, you know, what they're about to experience, and mm -hmm. two, especially to the seniors who are about to, whether they just go to college and, and get a degree or they yeah. go on to the next level, you know, what, what advice do you have for them? Uh, enjoy the ride, uh, create memories, and uh, just work hard. It's not impossible. Awesome. Thea, thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate it. We'll be right back. You're watching Generally Speaking, brought to you by Mingi Beef Jerky. SDG Blue, Dave Redden Photography, and Fayette County Schoolsports.com. Welcome to some great new sponsors Everybody's Auto Sales and NR Incorporated. So, as far as this show goes, you can stick a fork in us, we are done. But we hope the generals are still playing in December and bring home an early Christmas present a state championship. Thank you to the football program, the coaches, the players, their families and friends, everyone who supported us throughout this journey. Of course, that's another special thanks to the football boosters. 
and who can forget our sponsors? One more big thank you to Minge Beef Jerky, SDG Blue, Everybody's Auto Sales, and NR Inc. For the last time, you're watching Generally Speaking. Thanks for watching Generally Speaking. Brought to you by Mingy Beef Jerky, SDG Blue, Dave Redden Photography, and Fayette County SchoolSports.com. Welcome to some great new sponsors Everybody's Auto Sales and NR Incorporated. Thanks for watching, generally speaking.